Picture this. Mankind has fallen to a war with the aliens, and the aliens have the upper hand. We are close to the feet, but we know why the aliens are winning. They're superior energy sources. If we take the sources away, we can rescue humanity from complete destruction. And that is why we need you, dear viewer, to go on an espionage mission to get into the alien base, steal all the sources, and escape. There is, however, one teeny tiny, incredibly insignificant detail. The base is heavily guarded. That is why we developed a state-of-the-art technology that allows you to become virtually invisible. But there is, however, another very little tiny problem. Since the guards are at the door, you can't enter and exit through the same door. And you can't enter a room more than once. The aliens will be able to see you lock you up. Here is the map of the base. Is it possible to enter all the rooms, steal all the energy sources, and escape? Pause this video and think. Well, no. I'll save you dying. It is impossible. How do I know this? Well, we can take note of one of the most famous problems in history, the Konigsberg Bridge problem. For these seven bridges, you have to cross every bridge in the area without crossing one bridge twice. The citizens of Konigsberg were baffled as they could not successfully find the correct route in order to do this challenge. This attracted the famous mathematician Leonard Euler who lived close by to attempt to find out if it was actually possible. In doing so, he accidentally invented graph theory, which states that a graph is simply a recollection of vertices and edges, and he proved that the Konigsberg Bridge problem was impossible. Why was it impossible? Euler determined that the path taken didn't actually matter. That is why he simplified the layout into vertices and edges, where the land masses are vertices and the bridges are edges. This allowed Euler to easily count how many bridges were connected to each piece of land. An even three vertex would be a vertex connected to an even number of edges, and similarly from an odd three vertex. For it to work, a vertex has to be of even degree because for every entrance, there has to be an exit, except for the start and finish. For example, if a node had three edges attached, you would eventually have to cross one bridge twice. That is why the criteria for a possible solution is only two nodes are odd and all nodes are of even degree. If we go back to the alien base, we can actually think of the rooms as the edges because you can only cross it once, and the corridors as a node. Then we can find the degree of each node by counting how many rooms each corridor connects to. The alien base cannot be stolen from and we won't be able to get a sufficient number of energy sources to win the fight. But we made friends with them and now we're fine! Yay!